Welcome to SRAM Technical Communications. This video will guide you through the hose replacement process for a Reverb Stealth hydraulic seat post. You will need common bicycle maintenance tools as well as some specialty tools. View a complete list of tools and supplies in the video description below or go to SRAM.com forward slash service. Secure the bicycle in an upright position. The seat post will be removed from the bicycle. Do not clamp the seat post in a bicycle work stand. Raise the seat post to full extension. Remove the brakes to avoid reverb hydraulic fluid and dot brake fluid cross-contamination. Do not allow reverb hydraulic fluid to come into contact with any brake components. Contaminated brake components can compromise brake performance, may cause brake failure, and can lead to serious injury and or death. Remove the remote lever from the handlebar. Disconnect the hydraulic hose from the frame. Remove the saddle clamps and saddle. To view only the steps for hose shortening, click this link. To view steps for hose replacement, continue watching. For reverb stealth seat posts with a hose barb connection, a hose barb must be assembled. For reverb stealth seat posts with a connect -a jig hose connection, no assembly is required. Insert the barb sleeve onto the hose. Thread the barb into the hose and barb sleeve until it stops. Tighten the hose and barb sleeve with a crowfoot socket and torque wrench. Loosen the seat post collar. Remove the seat post and push the hydraulic hose into the frame. Do not pull the seat post out of the frame if there is tension at the hose. This can cause damage to the hydraulic hose and hose barb or connect a jig. Clamp the seat post into a bicycle work stand. Place a rag under the seat post and hose to absorb any fluid. For seat post with a connect a jig, Remove the hose assembly from the connect -a jig coupler. For seat post with a hose barb connection, remove the hose barb. Cut the hydraulic hose below the connect -a jig or hose barb. Thread the Reverb Stealth Barb Connector tool into the hose. Thread the end of the new hose onto the other end of the barb connector tool to connect the hoses. Pull the original hose out of the frame and insert the new hose into the frame. Stop when the new hose barb or connect -a jig hose coupler is above the seat tube. For seat posts with a connect -a jig hose coupler, install the hose assembly into the coupler and tighten it with an open-end wrench, crowfoot socket, and torque wrench. For seat posts with a hose barb, install the barb into the seat post and tighten it with an open-end wrench, crowfoot socket, and torque wrench. Remove the seat post from the bicycle work stand. Apply friction paste to the outside of the seat post. Install the seat post and pull the hose out of the frame. Failure to use friction paste could allow the seat post to slip during use, which could lead to serious injury and or death. Position the seat post at the desired ride height and tighten the seat post collar. The seat post will be tightened to the correct torque after the bleed procedure is complete. Secure the hose to the frame. Unthread and remove the original hose and hose connector tool from the new hose. Rotate the remote counterclockwise to unthread and remove it from the original hose. With the seat post fully extended and at the desired ride height in the frame, route the hose to the handlebar remote location. Hold the hose and turn the handlebar side to side. The length of the hose should create a gentle bend in the hose and allow the handlebar to turn freely. Make sure there are no sharp bends in the hydraulic hose. A sharp bend in the hose will prevent fluid from flowing. Make sure there is no tension at the remote when the bar is turned. Too much tension will cause the hose to disconnect from the remote. Mark the cut location. Cut the hydraulic hose. 
To ensure a square cut and to prevent damage to the hose, use only a hydraulic hose cutter. Insert the remote hose barb into the hose and rotate it clockwise to thread it into the hose until it stops. Do not over tighten the remote into the hose. If the hose is over or under tightened, hydraulic fluid can leak. Before reinstalling the remote and using your Reverb Stealth, you must perform a full remote system bleed procedure. Click this link for video instructions or go to sram.com forward slash service. This concludes the hose replacement and shortening procedure for Reverb Stealth height adjust seat posts.